Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Blair and this is Momentum. Alright, check it out. If you're new, please hit the like button, subscribe button, and notification bell so every time I put out a video, you'll be notified. And if you enjoy my content, please share. Alright, check it out. In today's video, I want to talk about uh, the flipping medical commodities industry and how um, what I have just seen in the last two or three days if this happens and they push this it's going to change and end flipping medical commodities as we know it now it'll keep going but it's going to change uh, drastically okay now we all know that you know uh, one touch contour freestyle light freestyle you know accucheck they all come in boxes you know all of them come in boxes and uh which is normal which is really normal um but about maybe a week ago a vendor told me about something you know and when he when he showed it to me i said wow this is crazy you know this is absolutely nuts and he said it's from about two years ago but he said that uh that they were trying to push this so um let me explain what this is that i'm talking about <laughs> this is crazy um you know what pharmacies may start doing it's putting test strips in pharmacy bags. Either pharmacy bags or, um, you know, the bottles that you get prescription pills in. They may start putting them in those, you know, prescription bottles. You know, they're like a uh, uh, orange brownish color. And, uh, yeah, it's crazy. Um, but I think that if they push this, you know, it's going to affect a lot of people. But I think that it's not going to stop, you know, this industry or people making money. You know, I don't think it's going to you know, stop that at all. Because I think after a while, people will adapt because on one hand if it's going from if it starts from this primary market I mean primary um, uh, pharmacies like Walgreens and uh, Rite Aid and CVS then the secondary pharmacies the independent pharmacies will catch on eventually but I'm going to do some research on this. I'm going to go around and uh, talk to uh, pharmacies around Chicago and see what's going on. But uh, here's my proof. Check it out. You saw that right you know this is crazy you know because it's going to end it as we know it you know and um, and change to something different you know and I think the issues that we're going to come across is that a lot of scammers are going to be out there and they're going to be putting this type of test strip in this bottle and this type of test stripped in this bottle you know and then if it's a 50 count or 100 count you're gonna have to sit there and freaking count all of them just to make sure you have enough you know now I can pretty much tell because of the weight but those bottles are very easy to get open so you know it's gonna be crazy you know um, I hope it doesn't happen you know, I hope it doesn't happen at all. 
But if it happens, then uh, <laughs> people who don't adapt to it will just fall off. You know? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. But one good thing is that, you know, you won't have any dings or damaged unless they start counting the uh, test chips as dinged and damaged in the actual bottles. You know, if they start counting those as dinged and damaged like they do boxes, then I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. Well, anyway, I'm going to leave it here. My name is Blair. This is Momentum. I want to thank everybody for watching. And remember, you can't gain momentum without traction. And on that note, until the next video, peace out.